Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's recipe, we are making quinoa blueberry banana muffins, and it's an all time favorite. Moist, mildly sweet. Check it out. So as you can see, I used very ripe bananas. These bananas um, were on the ripe side, so I just put them in a Ziploc bag and kept them in the refrigerator. So what I'm using for my wet ingredients is three very ripe bananas. The riper the banana, the sweeter the flavor. So the overripe bananas gives me a sweeter flavor without having to use so much extra sweetener. We are using... Um, a half a cup of coconut milk, mixing that in a little bit. And then we've got a quarter cup of coconut oil, melted coconut oil, uh, about a quarter cup of maple syrup, and about a half a cup, a little under a half a cup of coconut sugar. And then because the recipe is vegan, we're using flax eggs, two flax eggs uh, that I mixed up here. Um, and we're going to add some vanilla extract also and mix the ingredients well. And then for our dry ingredients, we have one and a third cup of gluten-free flour. And you can use regular flour if you like or sub out a different flour. And then what I'm doing is sifting that because it gives you a lighter texture, fluffier texture. Then I'm putting in one and a half teaspoons of baking powder a teaspoon of baking soda and two teaspoons of cinnamon and just blending all of those dry ingredients really well. And then what I'm going to do is add about a cup of quinoa, cooked quinoa in here and stir it up. The quinoa adds extra fiber and it makes the muffins more filling, um, especially for breakfast in the morning, gives you a good dose of fiber and and allows that your blood sugar to kind of run smoother, not spike so much. So I'm going to take my wet ingredients and pour it into my dry ingredients. And as I said before, this is gluten-free baking. So the more you stir, the better. These it doesn't make a difference. You blend, you blend, blend. But if you're using regular flour, be careful. The fiber in your diet because the quinoa is there. They're not necessarily low carb, but... They're very filling and full of good ingredients. The quinoa, we got the blueberries, we got the bananas. It's gonna be a good, healthy snack for midday. If you wanna eat it for breakfast. So here I'm just continuing to mix um, my batter up thoroughly. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to add about a cup of blueberries to the batter and fold them in gently. And they'll be ready to go into the grease muffin tins. The oven is preheating at 400. So we're gonna get ready to scoop them in. Diabetes. This is a muffin that maybe you wanna eat half of or eat it earlier in the day and adjust your carb intake throughout the rest of the day. But it is a snack that you can have as long as you're accounting for the other foods that you're eating throughout the day. Um, for all my people with high cholesterol, this is gonna be a good um, alternative for you. The store brand muffins, anything you buy at the store or the bakery, they taste great, but again, there's a lot of butter, a lot of fats that clog up the inside of your arteries and just keep you really unhealthy. So here I use about a quarter cup scooper um, and scoop the batter into the muffin tins. And that gives us a nice full muffin for our finished product. Thank <laughs> you. 
And here they are. They came out very moist, soft, mildly sweet. The blueberry was a good balance Don't of the like, tangy comment, with the sweet. Bye. Perfect for breakfast, y'all.